My name is Richard Bell and I'm project managing an exhibition here at The Point in Doncaster. It has taken a year and a half to gain the backing and funding that the project requires and today is our first day in the gallery. In this room we're going to relive a local marvel whose history stretches back more than 150 years, back to a time of huge growth and evolution for Doncaster. It has taken me 30 years, two books, countless hours of research, interviews, archive photographs and newspaper articles to document as thoroughly as I can the history of the Sand House. It's my hope that through this exhibition its memory will be kept alive for another hundred years or more. <laughs> two and a half months here at the Point Gallery. That's the next two weeks constructing the exhibition and then a further two months sharing it with the general public. The centrepiece of the exhibition is going to be a recreation of the Elephant and Mahout carving from the Sandhouse tunnels to give an impression of the scale of those tunnels and just how awesome they were. That's going to be done by a much acclaimed sand sculptor Jamie Wardley over the next two weeks while we make other preparations such as hanging banners, putting up storyboards and, and generally preparing for the opening of the exhibition in two weeks time. making a 2.6 metre tall sculpture. We've brought in 40 tonnes of sand and we've compacted it down into essentially soft sandstone using machines and forms. And then we're in the process of carving an elephant and a mahout out of that big block of sand. Um, we're also running a, a workshop with uh, five artists and they will then make their own sculpture based on uh, the theme of the sand house. Mm -hmm. 